and we are back little intro as always uh all subscriptions um to the channel when the channel is monetized is going to my support group to help support um you know go towards the haul we pay for the food we get for the meetings and little knickknacks that we bring them so they can have better lives so if you know if you want to you don't have to but if you want to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and would help monetize the channel i would appreciate it and i'm sure they would all appreciate it as well thank you professor ooblack Yes, I'm afraid those bags won't be necessary, girls. Seeing as you've opted to shadow a huntsman on what is now essentially a reconnaissance mission, I can assure you we will not be establishing a single base of operations. Rather, we will be traversing several miles of hazardous wasteland and making camp in any defendable locations we may stumble upon. I packed all of our essentials myself, plotted the air cores, and ready the airship. And it's Dr. Ublick. I didn't earn the PhD for fun. Thank you very much. Uh... Come now, children. According to my schedule, we are already three minutes behind. Schedule! Well, all right then. Looks like we're going to save the world with Dr. Oop. Like, okay, yeah, when you say it out loud, it sounds worse. Save the world? You're going on world-saving missions without us? I'm hard sad! Maybe a little hungry? That last one's not your fault, though. Ren. Sounds exciting. Where are you going? Oh, just outside the kingdom. Hey, so are we. Ren and Nora wanted to shadow the sheriff of a nearby village. We set out tomorrow. Then you can party with us tonight. We're shadowing a crime specialist. All inner city detective stuff. What, what happened junior to the other two of 13? <sighs> we normally go to the city with you guys. Oh, that's which where they got detected. stuff's always exploding in junk. So we thought this might be a better way to check out the kingdom when it's, you know, normal. Well... Four minutes, ladies! Well, uh... Wish us luck. I fancy myself more of an intellectual, but I can assure you, as a huntsman, I've had my fair share of tussles. Like the mushroom? Those are truffles. Like the sprout? Those are tussles. Brussels. Besides, given my expertise in the field of history, as well as my dabblings in the archaeological surveys, our dear headmaster saw it fit to assign me to this particular assignment. What does history have to do with this? Why, what a preposterous question, you silly girl. Why, history is the backbone of our very society. And the liver. Probably the kidneys, if I were to wager. And that means... The southeast quadrant outside of Vale is home to wild forests and deep caves. But it is also the location to one of the kingdom's greatest failures. Mountain Glen. That's right. It was an expansion of Vale. But in the end, it was overrun by Grimm and fenced off from the rest of the city. Correct. And now it stands abandoned. It's a dark reminder. Except it does. And a likely place for a hideout. Precisely. Now we all know that there's going to be a fight scene here. I'm sure they made the fight scene, actioned it off. It was in a broken city, and they came up with a reason for the team to be there for this fight scene. Okay? And that's called good storytelling. You have scenes, and then you write on how to get there. That's why Game of Thrones was so good for so long. And then they started making stuff up, and then it got bad. And that's what we have with the first two, three seasons of Ruby, where Monty did all these action scenes, and then he passed away, sadly. But he did all the action scenes, and they, they were told on how to get there. And that's why we're, we're, we got all these cool areas on how they wrote it. And I think that's super cool. Ladies, you still may be students, but as of this moment, your first mission as Huntress has begun. From this point forward, you need to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Ruby, I thought I told you to leave all your bags back at school. But, uh, you hadn't told us to listen to you yet. So I didn't. She's not wrong. Very well, Ruby, leave your bag here. We can pick it up upon our return. But I, well... Young lady, what in the world could you possibly have in that bag that could be so important to bring it with... Get back in the bag. <laughs> We're here. 
to investigate an abandoned urban jungle teeming with death and hostility, and you brought a dog. I uh... Genius! Uh, Canines are historically known for the perceptive nose and heightened sense of sound, making them excellent companions for hunts such as ours. <laughs> I'm a genius. So, what are your orders, Doctor? Ah, yes, straight to the chase. I like it. As you've been informed, the southeast area has been marked as a recent hotspot for grim activity. Now, there are several possible explanations for this behavior, one of which being grim. We all know it's grim. Uh, what? Grim. A creature of Grimm, approximately 100 yards from us at this very moment. What? Stop! Huh? There are a number of reasons why Grimm would congregate in this particular area. The most likely of which would be their attraction to negativity. Sadness. Envy. Loneliness. Hatred. All qualities that are likely held by our hidden group harboring ill intent. So... What now? We wait. We track. If this specimen leads us to its pack, that pack may subsequently lead us to our prey. How long do we wait? It's uncertain. Hours, days, weeks. Why, Lone Grin have been known to stay isolated from the pack for months, and there's the whole pack. <laughs> what? And now they've seen us. What? And now they've seen us! I take it tracking is out of the question? An accurate assumption, yes. What's the plan, then? <laughs> Show me what you're capable of. Cover your ears, why? <laughs> like how the whole area got ruined by the show. Oh, there's that big cage that we saw again. yet, for I am certain this is the first bout of many. Shall we continue? Are they going to get exhausted? Excellent yeah. work, girls! Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any signs of criminal operations in this sector. Oh well, moving on. Hey, Doc, you know, I was actually looking forward to seeing a pro huntsman in action like, fighting, or at least helping us fight? Ah, oh, but I am in action! Scouring the ruins of this one great city for any signs of a regular Dumbledore moment, I spent Not every mission is filled with tearing and heroism, girls. Sometimes it's just a heightened form of extermination. Remember, this is a job, and you all signed up for it. I do hope you understand that. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, of course. Hmm. Tell me, Yang, why did you choose this line of work? Huh? Well, to fight monsters and save... Oh, that is what you do. I want to know why you do it. The honest reason as to why you want to be a huntress. The honest reason? I'm a thrill seeker. I want to travel around the world and get wrapped up in as many crazy adventures as I can. And if I help people along the way, then that's even better. It's a win-win, you know? I see. And you, Miss Nee, a girl born into fame and fortune such as yourself certainly doesn't need the extra work. So, why choose this over a cushy job in Atlas? It's exactly as you said. I'm a Schnee. I have a legacy of honor to uphold. Once I realized I was capable of fighting, there was no longer a question of what I would do with my life. It was my duty. Interesting. <laughs> And what about you, Blake? You seem to carry yourself with a sense of purpose. 
There's too much wrong in this world to just stand by and do nothing. Inequality, corruption, someone has to stop it. Does that well? mean you? How? I, uh... Oh. I believe that will have to do for today. It's going to be dark soon. You three, set up camp in that building. Oh, and please do make sure that there are no more of those creatures. Your leader and I are going to secure the perimeter. Come, Ruby. My dear girl, is a grin. Let's kill it. I'm afraid your sniper rifle will do nothing more than agitate a grim of that size. But what if it attacks us? Fret not, Ruby. Those Goliaths are not concerned with us. Ruby, not every grim is mindless. Or rather, not every grim is still mindless. You see, the grim you see before you are so powerful. So superior to the Grim you fought, that they've undoubtedly lived hundreds of years. And in that time, between killing humans and attacking our borders, they've done one important thing. They've learned. They've learned that when they attack our borders, they're likely to die. And what we lack in strength, we make up for in will. And that killing one human will only bring more. Then, why are they still so close to the city? What are they doing? Wait. Dr. Ublek? Hmm? I was wondering. Wondering why I've been interrogating your teammates all day? A actually I was wondering... Why did you want to become a huntsman? Look around and tell me what you see. Lots of old buildings, uh, empty streets. I see lives that could have been saved. As a huntsman, it is my job to protect the people. And although I am capable of doing it with traditional weaponry, I believe I can make a much larger impact if I do it with my mind. As a teacher, I'm able to take knowledge, the most powerful weapon of them all, and place it into the hands of every student that passes through my classroom. I look at this wasteland and I see lives that could have been saved. But I also see an opportunity, an opportunity to study these ruins and learn from this tragedy, and therefore become stronger. I am a huntsman, Ruby, because there is nothing else in this world I would rather be. It's always the saying, I did, why did you do something? I can't something? believe we didn't find Just anything. It's the right thing to do. We've always been fortunate enough to be reason. in the right place at the right time. I guess we can't always have luck on our side. That's not what I meant. Huh? Earlier, about upholding the legacy. There's more to it than that. Yeah. No, me too. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I know what I want to do, but I figured I'd always take things one step at a time. Well, it doesn't matter. We know why we're here, right? No. Ah, oh, wonderful! A textbook campfire! Fire! Oh, warm. Very good. Eat your dinners and hurry to bed. We have a lot of ground to cover tomorrow, and we'll need you to take turns keeping watch over our temporary abode. Any volunteers for first watch? Yo. Hey, did Ublek ask you why you wanted to be a huntress? I mean, what did you tell him? Hmm. No, he didn't. Weird. Oh well, good night, guys. He didn't ask Ruby, because Ruby is the only one that knows why she wants to be a huntress. In the actual, like, the the only one that doesn't need help figuring out what a huntress is. The other ones were misguided.
Don't worry. Things will be better tomorrow. Oh, frick. That was good. It was. It was good. All right, I will see you all tomorrow for the next one. I hope you all enjoyed this, and yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow.